It's sometime in the year of 1944. Two B-17s and a fighter escort rumble over the skies of Germany, desperately dodging heavy flak. After what seems like an eternity, the two fortresses arrive to the target, a German U-boat pen. One of the B-17s peel away to safety, while the other performs a harrowing nosedive towards the target. After a few seconds, the B-17 impacts with the ground, unleashing a huge explosion that demolishes two acres of land. The remaining B-17 and its fighter escort circle back for England. In the dying years of the Second World War, British cities were taking devastating damage from German V-1 flying bombs. To combat these missiles, but also to respond with some flying bombs of their own, the Allies began developing a top-secret project known as Operation Aphrodite. First suggested by the U.S. Air Force, the plan consisted of outfitting war-weary B-17 bombers with a ton of explosives. Explosives that weighed twice as much as the normal bomb load. The B-17 would be flown by a primitive remote control. After a series of tests, a plan was decided on. The bomber to be purposefully crashed would take off with a crew at the controls, who would then bail out once the bomber was in the air. From there, it would be remotely flown by another mothership B-17. The crew of that B-17 would fly the giant RC bomber thanks to two television cameras, one in the nose and one in the cockpit. If for some reason the mothership lost sight of the bomber, they could remotely deploy a smoke canister attached to the underbelly of the plane to signal its location. And since the Allies wanted to keep their engineering secrets hushed up, there was a special device that ensured the controls would be blown up once the bomber hit the target, just in case. The RC bomber was fitted with British Torpex, which was nicknamed Torpedo Explosive and also twice as destructive as TNT. Once everything was set, it was time to begin the attack runs. The scene described in the beginning of this video didn't really happen, and that was because none of the attack runs really, well, worked. In fact, Operation Aphrodite was such a failure that it even killed JFK's older brother. A total of 14 missions were flown, and none of them reached the target. This was largely due to a systems failure, pilot error, bad weather, and sometimes just bad luck. And since the remote control technology was still unrefined, many of the drones were either shot down or crashed as a result of poor flying. So, in the end, the project was cancelled. It's now looked back upon as a creative yet foolhardy way to do what normal bomber missions and ground troops were already doing anyway, since the war was already in its end.